days. Sundays are great days. And Sundays are extra special, super duper fantastic days. with your face. Are you sick? No, ma'am. I'm just smiling. In my class? Whatever for? Yes! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Bountiful. You're very welcome, Jacob. It's Bella's Macaroni and Cheese Day. My all-time favorite lunch. Stop! <laughs> my mac and cheese! My mac and cheese! No! no! <laughs> they took away my macaroni! Whoa! <laughs> Shh! Jacob, get a hold of yourself! <clears throat> Attention, people! We need to cut costs. So, I am replacing Mrs. Bountiful <gasps> with a new caterer. <gasps> Leo Louse. Not Leo! Oh, you're so lousy. Today's specialty is sawdust soup. Oh, I think it really is sawdust. I got a banana peel. Well, what are you waiting for? Eat up, or it's detention for the lot of you, you ungrateful wretches. Got me today, Leo. And it better not be sawdust soup. <laughs> Don't worry, boss. Ta da! Uh-huh. <laughs> macaroni? He gets macaroni? Why I Jacob, get a hold of yourself. Leo! Are you trying to starve me to death? Where is my dessert? Here's your dessert. Cake? He gets shh. It's a little skimpy. No donuts? I can run out and get some. Pick up a banana split, too, while you're at it. Stop to it, louse! Man, oh man, he could eat the whole school in still one second. We have to eat garbage while Greedy Guts gets all the good food? It's just not fair! My dad says life's not fair. He also says all's fair in love and war. And Buford, don't eat the last pickle. I'm saving it. I'm hungry. Well, I'm not going to stand for this. I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to tell my dad. Aha! So then he said he was firing Mrs. Bountiful. The janitor is making your lunches? That doesn't sound right. I'm going to look into this. Thanks, Dad. We've got Parent-Teacher Day coming up next week. <laughs> next week? I can't wait a whole week. I'm sure you can, dear. No, you don't understand. 
Teddy the soup was great, and it had these things floating in it. You know, when I was your age, uh -oh. I didn't have it so soft. Oh, not the hard time speech. Now you've done it. Times were hard oh, back then, and we had to be tough. In my school, we didn't get served lunch. No siree. I had to get up in the wintry dark and make my own lunch. A lettuce sandwich with stale bread. There weren't any buses back then. We had to walk ten miles to school, and it was uphill both ways. And we didn't get our own rooms. No, it was ten to a room back then. My teacher made me memorize the complete works of William Shakespeare and recite it in front of the whole class. It took two weeks. It was so cold mm -hmm. that birds froze in the sky in mid-flight, and the snowdrifts were 20 mm. feet high. We shoveled till our hands were numb. Ah, those were the good times. <sighs> so, my point is, you should feel pretty lucky to be served a nice hot lunch every day. Yes, Dad. Good night, son. I thought kid power was supposed to help children in trouble. We do. Look, I've got rabies. Then why don't you help me? Those cruddy school lunches are going to put me in the hospital. We only help children with real problems. Tough luck, Jakey boy. Avanti! There must be someone who can help me. Heads up! Huh? Thanks, Mom. Very nice. Are you all right? Si, bien sûr, certainly. But I could use a hand here if you don't mind. Try pulling one of these straps. Not that one. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Bonjour. Shalom. Buenos dias. I beg your pardon? It all means hello. A world traveler like myself has to know many languages. Thank you for your help, my good man. I am ex Barnaby Dinglebat, and this is my house. I'm Jacob. I live there. That makes us neighbors. Morning, Barnaby. Good morning. Excuse me. Orange juice to go with your toast. Thank you. Why didn't you just go in through the door? Because that's just what they expect me to do. Who's they? Enemies. In my line of business, I'm bound to make a few enemies. What's your line of business? Do you promise to keep what I tell you a complete and total secret? I promise. My card. There's nothing on it. <gasps> X Barnaby Dinklebat? Master Spy? Not only is my neighbor a real spy, but he said he'd help me with my lunch problem. Aha! Three pineapples is the secret code for I'll meet you after school. Mr. Dinglebat. Uh, how did you know it was me? Just a lucky guess. What are we going to do? This is your disguise. We're going to pose as reporters and pay a visit to Principal Greedy Guts. Principal Greedy Guts? Hey, Jacob, want to come over? Mom's got a new blender. We can mush stuff up. Sorry, I've got something else to do. Okie doke. See you tomorrow. Do I really have to keep this a secret from my very best friend? No one ever said being a spy would be easy.
Are you sure reporters dress like this? Absolutely. It's perfect. He'll never know it's you. Ah. Oh. oh, yeah. Ahem. Go away. I'm busy. Salutations, my good man, old chum, old sport. We're reporters from the day. I never talk to reporters. Out! Oh, drat. There goes my principle of the year story, eh, what? Oh, well, cheerio. Wait a minute. Did you say principle of the year? Yes, our newspaper would like to do a cover story on you, old chap. Front page? Color photos? Absolutely. Pip, pip. Tally ho I'd love to help in any way. I say, jolly good. My name is Reginald Horseradish the Third, and my photographer here is Jacques Dieu Dieu. Don't I know you from somewhere? So, Governor, um, tell us about your school, the uh, lunches. I hear they're not very jolly good. Nonsense. They're delicious. Now, let's talk about me, shall we? <clears throat> the I Am Greedy Gut story begins with the arrival of an adorable baby boy to Cecil and Ethelene Greedy Guts. But that fool of a teacher refused to cast me in the lead of the kindergarten play. I was devastated. And that brings us up to my 11th birthday, a day that will live on in infamy. Are you getting all this? Oh, goodness, look at the time. We've really got to be going. Thank you, gracias, merci. But there's so much more to tell. What? My poutine. Jacob, we've wanted evidence, and we've got it! Student lunch menu, moldy rolls, trash hash, and dishwater lemonade? We've got evidence! I'm sending this to the newspaper. By morning, everyone in town will know about those lunches. Suzanne oh, takes oh, oh. down whoever... I'm okay. Sayonara. Ciao. Good night. You know, we should get him a key for the front door. School principal feeds students garbage? Oh, no. Mr. Greedy Guts, we demand an explanation. That's, That's right. Fair. Dishwater lemonade? Moldy rolls? It's absolutely unacceptable. Disgusting! We don't know. Sure. Right. 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 The moldy yeah. rolls are chock full of fuzzy goodness. That's ridiculous! Yes, yes it is! is ridiculous. Ridiculous. No. Mr. Louse was just being funny. <laughs> the rolls are not really moldy, and the lemonade is not made with dishwater. We gave the meals those names to amuse the children. It's a joke! <laughs> Listen, tomorrow is Saturday. Why don't you come in at noon and Leo will serve you up a typical school lunch. You can have a taste test. Sure. I suppose that would settle things. I guess so. Why not? Excellent. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs> Suckers. You wrapped them around your little finger, boss. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, small boy. Do you have the time? Mr. Dinklebat! You saw right through that one. I thought of a new plan. If we stake out Leo's van, we can follow him to where he makes the lunches and catch him in the act. A grand idea! Mr. Dinklebat, would it be okay if I told my friend Buford about all this spy stuff? Is he reliable? Trustworthy? Can he keep a secret? Yes, yes, yes! Well... Thanks, Mr. Dinglebot. We're shadowing Leo Laos. Then we'd better get going, because there he goes. Come on, 
boys, let's roll! me if you see anything. My code name will be Owl, the wise old owl. Jacob will be Eagle. Can I be Prairie Chicken? That's my favorite bird. They've got these sacks on their neck and they can blow up like balloons. The greater Prairie Chicken goes gobble gobble gobble, but the lesser Prairie Chicken sounds more wallop wallop wallop. Okay, you can be Prairie Chicken. Remember to cut the crust off. Hey, don't skimp on the icing. And don't forget the sprinkles. This must be the food for our parents. Eagle to owl, come in, owl. Eagle to owl, darn thing. No sign of the rotten lunches. Oops. Well, I better be getting back to my real kitchen uh, at the school where I make lunches for the kids. Aha! That doesn't sound right to me. If I hurry back, I can beat him there. You two stay here and keep watch. <laughs> Suckers. We'll chip a few teeth. <gasps> Moldy salad, cockroach pie. The mac and cheese isn't quite hard enough. In a month, it'll be perfect. That's terrible. Was this the gravy or the iced tea? It's kind of lumpy. But those brats will drink it. Ah. <laughs> We've got to tell Dinglebat. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? It's up to you, Eagle. You're in charge now. Excuse me, Mr. Louse. And yeah, what is it, Ma? We're done. Should we load up the van? Huh? Well, duh. The food's not going to deliver itself. <gasps>
Cheers. Well, in the end, our plan worked. Our parents got a taste of Leo's cooking, and as a result, everybody got their old job back. I know you're behind this, Tutu. I'll get even, just you wait. My congratulations on a job well done. Brilliant work. Thanks, Thanks Mr. Dinglebat. Dinglebat. If you'll excuse me now, I must attend to another case. Rivadelci, see you around. Thanks, Mrs. Bountiful. You're very welcome, Jacob. And I got my mac and cheese. I am ex Barnaby Dinglebat, Master Spy. And I'm Agent Tutu, spy in training. Mr. Dinglebat is going to show us how he made his business cards with the invisible writing on them. You have to write your secret message with invisible ink, which in this case is milk. Don't use too much or your paper will wrinkle up. Hey, Jake, that weird kid Buford told us to give you this. He said it was a top secret message. To read an invisible ink message, all you need is a source of heat, like an iron. Or a simple 100 watt bulb. Don't hold it too close or it'll burn. <laughs> What's so funny? What's it say? It just said to look at Noah and Emma and laugh. Jacob! 